SFC fans react, I'm Sean Middleton, and today, after a two-week break from the, def the, the disappointing 4-0 defeat at Portsmouth, uh, it's back to league competition, and it, it, we're outside the, the Priestfield Stadium, the home of Gillingham Football Club. The current score in the 90th minute is Gillingham 1, Sunderland 2, but Sunderland are down to 10 men since the 70th minute, so hopefully Sunderland can hang on and uh, get the three points. Um, could you please like, share and subscribe to our channel? I very much appreciate it. Thank you, time. All right, I'm inside the Priestley Stadium. Uh, Marty, um, three points, is a, it's a big three points because when you're down to 10 men, it's hard for, for 20 minutes as well. What we're seeing now? Struggle there, like. Oh, no. They struggle. We was bossing the game until that happened. Uh, yeah, struggle, but they held on. They were, yeah. they were resolute, they were tough. Do you think, obviously, a two-week break from the league as well, I and mean, then a 4-0 defeat to Portsmouth was a bad defeat. We responded with two wins in the Papa John's, but ultimately it's about the league, isn't it? It's about the league. Yeah. We've got to, we've got to, yeah, we need to be better than the first half. We're poor. Poor. First half. Really poor. Shocking first half. We were looking again in ones each, to be honest. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. Good result, though. Good star man. Star man. Champion. Star man. Flanagan. Flanagan. Oh, that's a shout. We have to see if Jenny on the attack. Yeah, Adam Rook, that's Sunderland have managed to see the game out. Uh, it was canny. It was, it was, it was stressful. Uh, Neil. Stressful. Stressful. Fucking brilliant. Fucking brilliant. Honestly, fucking brilliant. I, I, I hate yeah, me for the first of this. Yes. That was fucking stressful. We should have been out of sight. It should have been. Should have been. And I would, the first half was poor, wasn't it? Really awful. poor. Awful. But um, ten men, ten men. We still out. Ten it, men. We were looking to get the equaliser, but after that, the, the first 20 minutes of the second half, we could have been out of sight. We should have been three, four up. Nah, but Gillingham's lost the last three, you know, and they've lost five, they've lost eleven. But you've got to, but, you know, as, as is the case with every team in this league. We are their cup final. Uh, that's, that's, and that's they the will point. turn up every time again. What, what do you think went wrong with you a little bit? Do you think maybe he's just injured, he's caught with his suspensions and things like that? We could have been better. But yeah. The team that he put out was the best thing we could have put out. Top two still on. So we, we, we are champions. Lee Johnson all the way. All the way. He's part of the Storm man quickly, Storm man. Listen, these. Storm man quickly. Storm man. Hang on, hang on. He chased me up on you. Sit down there. I'm outside the Peace Day Stadium. Um, Sullivan have just won the game 2 1. And we're hanging on, hanging on, but. It's a great. I'm. 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 i am 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 i Few signings will win the league. Aye, uh, feel more, cut more signings. Aye, uh, I think we need we need to cut more in January, don't we? Aye, uh, when we'll get a couple of injuries, that's what we feel like. Show Newcastle who gets a better signings. Aye, right, thanks for your time, mate. Sure, man. Cheers, Paul. Thank you. Cheers, cheers, Paul. Doing them one, um, Sunderland two with Nile. Um, it was, it was near bank stuff, but we're there, got the, getting the three points. Uh, so that's all that matters, yeah. Yeah, all that matters. Red card, just blown over today's the day. Three points on the board. Uh, that's it. Uh, that's all that matters. And I, the red card, I mean, that, that was the defining moment in the game for me, but we've, we've hung on for 20 minutes as well. Yeah. The card, it, was hard, it was hard, but we're seeing the game out. Oh, Neil, mate, and a couple of times from our end, it looked like they were, it was in, they were cheering and that. It was, mm. Couldn't even watch by the end of it, but I think, I think we stuck in well. Maybe didn't push out as much as we should have at the end, but three points is three points, we'll see yeah. it now. On, on, on the crew, I mean, Gene have lost three. They've lost the last three and have lost, I think they've lost five at the last 11. So, uh, you know, it's a good that we've won, but we've, I think we've made hard work at times. Yeah, I think the away, fo the away form is what's got to improve. Aye, it's if that's, we improve that, aye. that's what's going to be the defining moment we've got this season. <laughs> Storm man, mate. Yeah. Storm man. Yeah. Storm man, mate. Uh, Dan Neal today. Dan Neal, yeah. Nice to finish with time, Cheers. All right, let's have a pre first in with James. James, uh, Gillingham 1, Sunderland 2. Sunderland have managed to see the game out, thankfully, um, after the disappointing 4-0 defeat at Portsmouth. Um, I think winning the deal was all that mattered. Uh, yeah, class atmosphere. I don't know what to say, to be honest. Yeah, uh, was... the red card, after the red card, the game, like, we just I, we just didn't know what to do after the red card. But uh, we just the defence was class at the end. Right. Uh, 
Yeah, I don't know what else to say. Oh, no, mate, it's, 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 it was a it was a poor display in the first half. Or do you I think know. that was maybe uh, the fact that he's had to make a lot of changes and suspensions and things, injuries and things like that? Yeah, you know? like McGeady's injured and everything. Yeah. But uh, yeah, but just at the end of the first half, we played like Prime Barcelona. Any uh, any positives out the game? Uh, yeah, just atmosphere. The uh, the second half is class. Aye. 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 Starman, Starman. Uh, um, Aidan O'Brien. Aidan O'Brien, mate. Cheers for your time, mate. Take care. Take care, mate. I went with Kill uh, from Kent. Uh, it was a hard game to watch at times, the last 20 minutes, but we're seeing out. What did you make of the game? Um, the problem was, no one wanted to put a bit of heart in it. And when that red card is, I'd say, well deserved because yeah. no one was putting a yeah. tackle in. Yeah, we, were, we was there at the Breeze Field. Yeah. Letting them play football. Yeah. Some of them don't do that normally. Yeah. We had the ball. We were doing it in small, small spells. But. And you think it was definitely a red card? It looked like it looked rushing really, really bad. No, from bad where I was, and uh, the way he walked off, that's a definite red. Yeah. The way we react, and the way we reacted going in at 1 0 half time, mm -hmm. is what Lee Johnson's doing to this club. He's making us into winners. Don't look at what we've done wrong, look at what we can do better. Lee Johnson is winning this. It's a good point, that like, that's a good he, point. He's going to win this league. It's a good point, that's a good point. Um, star performer in the game, what do you think was, who thinks still out of there? Um, the star performance is the new Ross Stewart song. Have yeah. you heard it? <laughs> Shall I sing it? Shall oh, I then, give him a quick Yeah, aye. Oh. Oh. Shall we sing it? Shall we? Oh, and the Ross Stewart Shall song, I went. <laughs> oh, Carol, do you know what he's worth? Ross Stewart is the best on earth. The long nest drug bar, know what we need. He'll send Sola to the Premier League. <laughs> there you go, lads. Thank you, lads. Cheers. Take care, mate. Take, take, take care. Kill talent, yeah. Aye, aye. Kill aye. Aye. From Andy from uh, Maidstone, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. What do you make of the game, mate? First half, play like a team of strangers. Second mm -hmm. half, one of these games you've got to win mm -hmm. if you're going to go up. Yeah. You know, we played ugly and we won. Yeah. You know? It, was, well, it wasn't pretty at times, it, it was a bit uh, Neil Bank and stuff. I think, this, I think the red card was there. We, we were hanging on one with the last yeah. 20 minutes, but, but we're seeing it out. We showed, the yeah. player showed a lot of character. They did. They yeah. did. Two years ago, we would have lost that. Uh, you know? So you think uh, Lee Johnson's mentality, his, his management skills is uh, yeah. coming through? Yeah. He, must yeah. have, he must have kicked him up the ice first half. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. Gill, Gill, the, first half, the first half was poor, wasn't it? Very poor. It was very, poor, the first half. Play like a team of strangers. Yeah. You know, totally trying. So you the boys, I'm, oh. Are you confident in there this season? Oh, yeah. Yeah, top two, no yep, playoffs. Yep. Now, Starman, quickly. Tuesday night, crew. I'll crew, yeah, you'll be yeah, there. there. Starman, yeah. mate. The best Starman, keeper. Keeper. Hoffman, Hoffman there you Hoffman, go. Right, cheers, pal. Exactly. Have a safe journey, Omari. Oh, yeah. I'm inside the Priestfield Stadium, the home of uh, Gillingham Football Club, I'm with Tim. Tim uh, Sunderland, thankfully, have managed to see the game out. I think. Over the past three or four years, I think them type of games, we would definitely have, uh, have conceded late on even lost the game. So I think you've got to give the players a lot of credit uh, this afternoon. Um, it's my first away game. And if it's like this every game, I'll come again. <laughs> lost my voice. And but it's a really, really good effort. Yeah. And uh, brilliant, brilliant team performance. Yeah. And their yeah. goalie was fantastic. Yeah, Hoffman, the, 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 our goalkeeper. Hoffman, right. like, pulled, pulled some good saves off. Brilliant. It is. But to be fair, the whole team played well, especially when down to 10 men. That was yeah. hard. It that was. was long the last time. 20 minutes, when, when, when um, Emelton got sent off, it, was a, it looked like a rush tackle. It looked like maybe it was a red It was right. silly. I would have to say it again, but it looked a, a very late challenge. Yeah, I think he, gave he the referee didn't the have to do it. He didn't nah. have to do it there. I know, and it's... I think he'll know that one. I think Emerald's just signing you. He's just signing you for your deal. But I think he'll know when he looks back and he'll think, I shouldn't have done that. But I put, me, I put me, let me players under massive fair pressure. That's 20. Yeah, but the team today, I think they'll have like self believe more because yeah. they cope with it. Yeah. I think they would have conceded normally. But yeah. today, they didn't. Yeah. They were yeah. the best team. Yeah. You know, apart from the first 35 minutes, yeah. 40. I won't very good really in the first. Good. I think the first half weren't very good, but I think Lee Johnson's had a word second half and I think we'll come out. Yeah. And he said, that's not acceptable. You know, you've got to. If you want to finish in the top two, you've got to be better than that. Yeah. And Gillingham have lost the last three, they've lost five, they've lost 11. Yeah. So they're not very, you know, they're in the bottom five. Yeah. You've got to be taking care of things. I'm not being disrespectful, you just have. Yeah, yeah. You know I mean, mean, they had only one game plan, which is lump it to the centre forward. Yeah. Once they dealt with him, yeah. they were finished, really. Yeah. Starman in there, Tim? For me personally, the goalie. Uh, somebody else has said it, Hoffman, eh? Yeah. Do you think Sunderland finishing in the top two this season, Tim? Easy. Easy? Easy. Easy peasy. Not Being from Sunderland fan now, Tim, yeah? I am. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Take care, pal. Thank you. Take care, Thank you. buddy.
After a disappointing uh, result against Portsmouth two weeks ago, Sunderland is getting back there, winning ways. And with Michael, Michael, uh, what, what do you make of the game, mate? Uh, to be honest, I don't think it was a great game we played very well in, Sean, to be honest. Um, I suppose they're the kind of games you look at the end of the season where you look back and think, oh, we got over the line. But yeah. we didn't perform very well today. But at the same time, obviously with a red card, it is a decent result against, at the end of the time. Yeah, against the wall. Wall. It was with a red card, yeah, wasn't it? It was worrying. Absolutely. Aye, it um, was. I mean, we got the goal from Flano. 10 minutes, second half, great header, by the way. Aye. Unbelievable header. Aye, um, aye. But after that, we, we really were back against the wall, especially when everything got sent off. Mm -hmm. Job done, though. It, hopefully, at the end of the season, you think of that, like we got promoted. That, was a good, that could be a result. What could win. get you promoted? Gonna, them the results we've been losing the last three or four years. You know, so yeah. It's good that we've got another line. And there's a sort of different dynamic this year where you, you actually are confident, even when we got into 10 men. I didn't really fear that we were going to concede a second. Yeah. Um, I kind of thought we'll we hold on and get the win. But yeah. Uh, in comparison to the other years, you would thought maybe we will concede today. I did feel confident even when we went down to 10 men, we will get the result. I think a big shout out to the Michael was for the supporters. They were brilliant. Brilliant. 2,000 of them there. Like, oh, it was it made some noise. Yeah, Got behind the team. It was, it, was really good, it was a really good away day. Yeah. Uh, and the lads were, were, were behind them the whole time. Yeah. Um, and even before the game, I was talking to loads of lads. I came yeah. over from Dublin today. Yeah. It was just brilliant. It was a really, really good atmosphere today. Yeah, it was. Uh, you love this, like, this is the kind right, of way it is you do love. Yeah, like. Exactly, exactly, <laughs> Michael, exactly. I mean, are you confident now that we've got crew midweek? We've got to, we've got to take care of them. And do you think we can get in the top two this season? Absolutely, yeah. Oh, yeah. sure. I, I, I've been saying this to one of my friends over there. He's like, this season, I'm the first season in the league one, actually, I'm very confident we actually will get up. Yeah. Uh, we have a squad, there's, there's, there's strength and depth. Yeah. Obviously, a few injuries today McGeady, Gooch, yeah. Jackie, no, we did miss. Injury, and you yeah. can see that the width, we, we, we lack that width today. Yeah. But we still, you know, I absolutely, I, I have full confidence to go up this year. Star man, mate, the star man. Um, I'll give it to Flanagan. Flanagan, Flanagan. Yeah, good shout, good shout. Yeah, good shout, mate. Have a safe journey on yeah, me. Take, take care, pal. All right, I'm with Leighton Turnbull, Leighton uh, Sunderland, um, outside the Facebook stadium, have thankfully hung on for the 2 1 victory and have taken the three points home. It's going to be a, a great journey home for me, Morgan, and, uh, and Michael and Chris. I drove from Manchester for this. <laughs> so, you flew from Manchester? Flew from man. Uh, no, I travelled oh, from, train from Manchester for this, so yeah. I'm glad we did that. First off, I will admit, Johnson needed to talk to them after oh, the was, was They were awful, weren't they? We were slow, we were sleepy. No, I were. just. It was awful. It was, uh, it was, it was when it. But then, in added time, we just suddenly woke up like out of nowhere, mm -hmm. and it's just we scored. Mm -hmm. I made it one-one. Yeah. What surprised me is Tom Flanagan. How were how, how we that bad in the first half? Do you think it's a case of is that you know Diakio was out and Gooch and McGeady? Do you think maybe just a few inches just caught up with? Yeah, we were we were a little behind, but we got into the game, and I think we we think we deserved the three points. Do you think we missed Corey Evans in the middle? Because he keeps yeah. his, keep his soil, doesn't he? Yeah, I was wondering, like, where's the Sunderland from the Stadium of Light? Where's that Sunderland? We're struggling away from one moment, but we're going to yeah. improve our way. I know we've won a day, and that's good, and I'm, I'm absolutely over the moon. Especially but... after Portsmouth. Portsmouth, the weather, oh my goodness. I couldn't I couldn't stay because the weather was so bad. Oh, that was, that was a nightmare, wasn't I actually it? had to leave it because I just couldn't stand that bloody rain anymore. <laughs> I know, I know, it was but, a bad thing. But... What, I'm happy we won. We, fought, we, we held in there, even when we went down to 10 men. Mm -hmm. I mean, honestly, that gave me quite a scare, and yeah. my head hurts a tiny bit. Yeah. But if if it means three points, then let my head hurt. Right, uh, Starman, best uh, best player on the pitch this afternoon. Ooh, I have to say Ross Stewart because he never looked he never looked down. Ross Stewart, good shout. He, he always kept he always you know kept trying and trying uh, and trying. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna uh, we're gonna do it this year. I'm going. Up, I think we're going up. Yes, I think we're going up this year. Yes, and I'll be at Crew. No, I'm, I might say on Tuesday. Take care. Tuesday. Take care. Take care, pal. Take care. <laughs> Take care. Gillingham won a Sunderland turn with Josh. Um, thankfully, we've seen it out, but it was uh, nail biting stuff right to the end, wasn't it? Well, I've seen the last couple of games, Sunderland have actually pushed on for more than one mm -hmm. uh, the last 10 minutes of the game. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, he's gone back to sticking with 10 men behind the ball the last 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. But Nine men, enough because of it. Yeah, yeah, enough. But he was absolutely ripping his heart out. He was walking off and tears Elliot and Moon. And that so shows how much that boy loves the club. Because he knows he's, he's made a mistake. He yeah. went in, he went in with a rush tackle. Well, I mean, the ball was there to be won, but it was more of a. He just went in, didn't he? And very, very reckless, wasn't it? Brutal. It looked and reckless. It looked reckless, but. I think we could actually appeal against it, mm -hmm. but it might. Ah, I don't. I don't. There's no shame getting it overturned. I can't say we're getting it overturned. Like Morgan oh. shooting his head in there and all yeah. that. Uh, so, uh, Lee Johnson, be happy with bringing the three points home. 
Uh, it's crazy football, you know, honestly, yeah. sitting in that ground, Lee Johnson was getting some stick off the fans and then all of a sudden we get the goal just before uh, the, yeah. the, 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 the break. Wait, I walked out on the 30 second minute just to get a drink to cool off because mm -hmm. I was going to absolutely blow. Aye. And that's not usually me because I, I pretty, pretty until out. it's like 3-4-0 up and Aye. then I get mad. Aye. But I'll always try and do my best to make yeah. sure that they've pushed on for an equaliser, a last minute winner yeah. or anything. Yeah. Well, that game, second half, was a breath of fresh air until the last 10, 15 minutes. 15, like, we got the second off as it was hanging uh, on, weren't we? But at the end of the day, it's three points on the road. Yeah. Back, uh, back down. Where does that take us now on the table? I think it's third or Not second. Third or second. I didn't... I didn't one point behind four. One point behind four. Chase, by the way, I mean, we're definitely not going to get playoffs. Uh, automatic. You think automatic this season? Any captain this season and I fancy my chances in the Carabao Cup final with Liverpool. Ah. <laughs> Honestly, no ah. joke. I, I think that uh, we're going to have to bring a couple of players in January. I think when we get a couple of injuries you can see. I mean, look at our bench here, dear. Not being suspectful, the, there was a lot of youngsters in there and I we think had, we need some experience. I think we had the youngins because everyone in the national was just absolutely knackered. Uh, we've, we've got a lot of players in the squad that were starting yeah. for the likes of Winchester, Flanagan, yeah. pardon me. Sorry. Um, Bailey Wright got a call up uh, uh, and our striker Ross Joe was on the back up. But he never went. But obviously, that's lacking in energy, performance-wise. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Could have dropped them, put a few of the young ones on. Do you, year, maybe. Do you think maybe he's that you know about the league cup team? We're going to get the final and play Liverpool. Do you think that could be distraction? If we beat QPR, we could be could be, could be in the quarters. I think if yeah. we win that game, I think that could be. To be honest, all I'm going to say is our squad strength this year is bigger than what people expect. Do you think it's better than what? I mean, it just looked a bit. The bench looked a bit. It's it, unstrengthened because we carry a knock. Diaco, um, McGeady was out, Corby yeah. Evans was out. I mean, we can build up Broadhead. from the youth as well, they yeah. get a bit of experience, but that Will Harris is literally, I've got to say, he's bagging in the goals. But that was a big win though, I mean, I mean I've mean, I've said this in the previous interviews, last th two or three seasons prior to this, we would be losing that game or, or, yeah. or conceding late on, so the, the players showed some character, you've got to give them character as well. Or what give we them some would praise. do is... Every now and then, last year or the season before, we would drop our heads after yeah. half time if we yeah. were 1 0 down. Yeah. And we would push for a draw. Then we would hit the bar somewhere. Uh, and then there's like two minutes out of time. And they go up and score. That um, was the most quickly, Josh. Uh, I mean, he's performed week in, week out like an absolute new Maradona. But Dan Neal is one of the most technical, gifted midfielders. Sunland ever made and we need to give him a new contract absolutely because if absolutely. we get two to four million for him he'll be out that door at a championship he's a son that he loves Sunland doesn't he so hopefully that, that'll be the, the, the final quickly moment quickly before I go the reason he loves Sunland I can tell as well because at the stadium of light he sings wise men say at the end of the game uh, and he gets told not to because it overheats and everything uh, in the change rooms uh, and he just can't help it because so he loves the football club doesn't he, he he wants to put that shirt on right, uh, right. thank you and we're going up this season. How are you, the lads? <laughs> Cheers, Josh. Take care, buddy. Take care.